What's going on guys? Welcome on into today's video. We are talking trading view and we're talking the hot list feature. You want to cover what that feature actually is, how you can utilize that, and then what you can do to customize it as well to really benefit your own trading and investing. This is a feature that can work very, very well for intraday movements if you want to follow what's going on intraday, or it can be a great feature to step back and look at on the weekends, look at at night, see how things have gone and, and get a good feel for what's been hot and what's not been hot if you catch my drift. So let's dive on in. Right now we're looking at trading view. We'll leave a link in the video pinned comment and description box if you want to check it out. Um, that will be a link to the platform right here. You can use it for free, but they also have some trials. You can get a 30 day free trial, I think as of right now, um, which is pretty awesome. I think it's it's worth your while at least to test it out. Um, especially if you you know start diving in and you start finding some value in some of these videos or some of these different things that we're showing you here about the platform, okay? So on the right-hand side, that's what we're gonna be kind of alerting ourselves to. The right-hand side, if we scroll down on this uh, right-hand side, look at these different widgets right here, there will be a little bit of a fire emoji or whatever you wanna call that, it's like a fire symbol. Uh, and if you hover over, it'll say hot lists, okay? I'll click on that. Now, all of a sudden, my right-hand side has changed and I can make this smaller, make it larger if I wanted to. Um, Essentially, what I have on my screen doesn't really matter because, for example, if I want to click on Snapchat, it'll pop it up and then it'll populate on my screen. And I can go and click on launch the full chart and then give it a second. It'll now load up and it will launch the full chart based on essentially my settings and based on my chartings, um, which is kind of cool. So it's useful to do it that way. Um, I'll leave Snapchat up on the left hand side. Uh, but what you can do here is we can extend this even further across our screen. Um, really comes down to your preference at the end of the day. It's kind of a little bit too much to be honest because like there's only so much that is on here but i'll leave it like roughly like this size a little bit less than half the screen so you kind of can see what we're talking about here so now what does this mean if i click on hot lists i get a bunch of stuff populated in gray now it says us exchanges volume gainers so it's going to give me three different options or three different essentially lists uh, hot lists as you say and I can customize that. It doesn't have to be these three things, but by default, it's telling me US exchanges, volume gainers, US exchanges, percent change gainers, US exchanges, percent change losers. So what does it tell me? What's What stocks have the most volume? Where are the most traders? Where are the most investors? Where is everyone focused on? Okay. What stocks are making the biggest moves to the upside today? And then what stocks are making the biggest moves to the downside today? And that's essentially what it is, what we're, based on what we're looking at right here. Okay. So, if you wanted to change this and this is not what you want to look at, then we can do that in just one second. But for the most part, to be honest, for, for active traders, you're looking at where the volume's at. You're looking at what stocks are making outlier moves. And then you're going in and you're diving in. Do these stocks, do, does any of these stocks, do they make sense either to be a buy and hold investment, be like a Snapchat being down how much it is? Does this make sense to maybe buy and, and grab some shares for the long term, put it in my IRA, put it in my long term account, forget about it? Or does it make sense maybe to look at this for a swing trade or even a day trade, right? Depending upon the stock. For example, this stock right here, it has the last price right here across the middle of our screen is a $2.50 stock, AVDL. I mean, this is a penny stock. This is a stock that's going to move massively. And guys, it's up 133%. So yeah, it's going to be a big time mover. And this might be a stock that I want a momentum day trade if that's, you know, my cup of tea. Um, that's essentially what that is. Now, if I click on one of these categories or this little top bar, right? Let's say I click on the top one right here. I can change this. So now what I can look at is a lot of different stuff. So if I'm in the US, I have, I can look at all US exchanges. I can look at the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange. I can also look down to the OTC, or if I'm in a different country, let's say I'm in Canada or I'm in wherever I am, I can go in and sort by different countries and sort by essentially where I'm at and what I want to look at. So it depends on where you are at the end of the day. Let's say I'm in China, you know, boom, I go over to China. I can pull up, you know, all of the information that I want to see, all these potential volume gainers, percent gainers, um, gap gainers, like all these different categories for these different, uh, I guess, uh, I guess countries, right? Now, if I was to go into all US all exchanges, I'll use this as the example. We have percent change gainers, percent change losers, essentially the stocks making the biggest move um, up and down, percent range gainers. We also have percent range losers, gap gainers, gap losers, what stocks are kind of gapping down, either had bad news overnight the day before and are gapping down that day, percent gap gainers, percent gap losers. Now, 
Why these might make sense is because many times when stocks have overnight gaps, they can get filled to the upside or downside over the coming days, weeks, months, or even years. Um, and so traders might like to look at that. So those are the options that you have. And of course, if I was to change that to gap gainers, boom, now I have gap gainers right here and I can go and customize or I can go and look through each of these stocks and potentially look at Ulta right here. Click on Ulta, boom. Why is Ulta a gap gainer, guys? Well, look at Ulta. This is actually a crazy chart, by the way. This stock went from a couple of days back. This stock was down around 334, 335. And in one, two, three days, boom, it's at 425 and it gapped up. Okay. When you when say gap gainers, essentially here's your gap. Okay. Overnight. Now we're looking at the one year, one day charts. Each of these candlesticks is one day. That's the type of gap that we're talking about right here. That, that's what it means. So that is essentially hot list in a nutshell. You can of course customize what you want to look at, but that's what it's telling you. That's what it means. And hopefully if you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. Be happy to answer you guys down there as well. Check out other videos here on the channel going over different aspects to trading view. We have actually a bunch of videos covering a lot of different stuff and we're building up that playlist on the channel as well. If you want to check it out, other great playlists, other great tutorial videos here as well. If you want to make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss, we post roughly one to two times per week. So not overloading and maybe you get something out of the video. Maybe you don't need that type of information that, that week. So it's up to you. I appreciate you guys like always for tuning on in. We'll leave a link to a webinar covering three trading signals to add to your arsenal. It is free. That'll be also linked in the video description box down below. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up button, maybe even share with a friend and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.